Good morning, family. Um, just right away, some thoughts uh, to share. Um, cool things happening in the BC, and uh, I want to acknowledge them. Uh, I do have a vinyl update I did buy some records yesterday. Um, but first off, I want to just uh, shout out to two other BC members who are making music. And the first one is Chris Oliver, Ollie Rules. Uh, Chris announced last night that he uh, has uh, three new projects coming up, one in a USB form, which I intend to yeah, I intend to support and buy. Um, you know, it's like, I think that this, this is uh, wise on your part, Chris, you know, to uh, diversify and try to find ways to get that music out, but also to uh, generate some income. It, it may indeed uh, work in your favor towards uh, a vinyl release, finally. So I, I, I'm encouraging folks, number one, to check out the solar system on Bandcamp um, and think about supporting um, Chris Ali Rules by buying this limited edition um, music that's about to come out. USB, I know, is one form. The other thing I think is awesome is that you're following up on something that I may eventually follow up on, which is you're collaborating with other uh, VC members. Uh, Glowing Cabbage is doing the artwork for, I understand, for... Um, for the Solar System's next record, or one of them. That's awesome. Um, uh, I may work with Jeff in the future. I, I, I don't know. I mean, you know, that's the other thing. You know, you got to be free to do what you want to do. And I actually have a graphic artist in town who is well paid, offering me free services for my next record. So I may, uh, but anyway, fantastic. And I wanted to spread the word about that. I wanted to spread the word that uh, there's some kind of prog fest, not prog fest, but not near fest, but there's a prog fest going on in uh, the East Coast. Uh, I know I put the link on uh, Facebook, but um, I'll try to dig it up. But some amazing bands like Alpha Taurus and stuff are re reuniting to play at this thing. I can't go, but, you know, it's the sort of thing that people should know about that, like prog. <clears throat> the other thing that I like about Okay, yeah, I got sidetracked. Uh, another 12 inches, Brendan James is going to be mastering uh, Ollie Rules, and I think that's fantastic. But also, I want to give you a shout out, Brendan, because the uh, tracks that you've been sharing just keep getting better. And uh, I'm not pulling your nose by saying, yeah, it's probably uh, time for uh, a release to think about putting an album together. You're good, and um, I'm hearing that your music could be well enjoyed in a uh, in that format where you give us a program, you know, from start to finish. Uh, take us on a journey, man. Bring it, Brendan. You know, um, if um, in all honesty, if we lived in the same town, I'd I'd try to do some tracks with you. You know, I would try to um, hook into your expertise production wise. So go for it, man. Uh, I'm going to be talking less about the Facebook page because, um, the, de the decision was made to close the group, you know, and, you know, I don't know if I have something to do with that by talking so much about it that I got all a bunch of people interested in the next thing you know, you get this flood of people trying to get on and that might've been it, but folks, that's my nature is to just be honest and real and just be like a kid and say what and feel what I'm thinking, you know, but it looks like the, uh, Facebook group is like, it was going to get too massive, you know? And so I just, sorry. Um, but it makes sense, you know, in order for it to preserve some sort of integrity, it needs to stay a certain size and people that are actively on it be honored. I can imagine there are quite a few people on there who signed up and hardly go on, if ever. But yesterday, among other things, I did buy some vinyl, and um, I want to share what I bought. The first thing I bought was um, used $4.99 Deep Purple, 24 karat purple. I'm a longtime fan of Deep Purple. I don't have all their records, but I love Deep Purple. All aspects of the band, including the singer, when I was a kid, Ian Gillen, blew my mind. Even before him uh, was uh, the guy John Lord, not John, John Lord, but the guy that, uh, the original singer with the deep voice. I liked him too. 
But Mark II is is really the best. Now, um, for me, this is really cool because it's on the purple label, and this is a UK import. And being a boy from the Midwest in the United States, imports from uh, the rest of the world are just gold for me. I just love them. I prefer them. You know, even even if um, certain American pressings might be better. I just like those European. Um, and just to kind of make a point here, let me pull. Up. I only have a few more Deep Purple albums, but I'll show what I have. Because uh, I do. I love all kinds of music. My hard rock days, you know, of buying are, are behind me as far as buying hard rock. But I used to have a lot of it as a kid, and then I went to a lot of shows. And live shows is really where it's at. So I have uh, Deep Purple. This is the one with Hallelujah on it, isn't it? Uh, maybe not. April. April. Okay. And The Painter. With the Bosch detail on the cover. I have that one. Book of Pelizan, I love this album. When I was young, I just this was like a prog masterpiece to me. I still love it, but it was like there was this. Is it the plint? The shield. There's some song of theirs that's instrumental. That's just awesome. I always think it's on this album. It's been so long since I played it. This one I love. Uh, with the Royal Philharmonic. This was my second Deep Purple album as a kid. I got a white label promo of it from a radio station. I don't have it anymore. Um, but I played that to death. I just love it. I think it's really good. I really still do. Fireball. I, I bought Machine Head when it came out as a teen. And I, you know, I played it to death. Don't have it anymore. Fireball kicks. I have several more Deep Purple CDs. And of course I got Deep Purple uh, made in Japan. This is like a... Uh, this is like a Stonehenge of, of live records, if you ask me. This is just amazing. I just, I'm, I'm out of words. Made in Japan, Deep Purple. You need to hear that, people. Okay, so I added another one to my Deep Purple, uh, 24 Karat Purple. When I was in the store uh, browsing yesterday, Homer's, this music was playing. And I thought to myself, well, that's... That they're really taking from Jesus and Mary Chain. It's not Jesus and Mary Chain, but that's where that sound is coming from. Kept listening, and the, the song was killer. And it like, damn. Kept listening, and then the next song was good. So um, I went up to the counter and said, man, this sounds a lot like uh, Jesus and Mary Chain children, but I don't know who this is. And then he said, it's a place to bury strangers. I said, I don't remember him sounding like this at all. And I said, sold. I may not have heard this band before because I don't remember them sounding like this. The song on here, the album is Worship, but the song that sold me was hearing the song on side two, Revenge. Damn, that's killer. Rocks and those those uh, guitar tones. You know, that screaming and then the variations on the, um, the feedback -y guitar sound, plus the way they have the drums and the rest of the music mix. I love this. Um, Sonic Mainliner is saying I need to hear the first one, so I'm going to check it out. You know, I don't have the money to be spending on spending on everything, but I'll be checking it out. This really surprised me, I, and I bought it, you know, and I got home and played it on the 518, and yeah, this is real good. The other thing I saw there that I bought on site because of the cover, but I've heard something and read something, and I thought, I don't remember what it was, but it was like, okay, this is within my price range, and this cover really intrigues me. And so I bought it. It's a 12 inch single by Subtract. Hold on. Now check it out. That's, it's a lenticular cover. Isn't that nice? I said, you know, that's just badass, number one. And so, and so then it's a 12 inch single. So the price was, it was not very pricey. So I thought to myself, if nothing else, it's going to be cool for the cover, but it's good. I mean, got to listen to it again. You know what I'm saying? I listened to it once. Had to get that cover though. Isn't that, isn't that cool? K. 
Okay. And um, I do know that many of you folks really like to watch my videos, and you don't mind when I make the long ones. But I'm going to be making short ones right now, kind of because it's a way of me saying I can't watch not can't, but it's hard now to watch 20 and 20 plus minute videos. It is, you know, um, it just is, you know, so <clears throat> I'm going to keep mine short for the time being.